she was watching all the other kids run and play. And on her face, I saw a look far and distant. And with trembling voice, I heard the little girl say, Thank you. 
taking this Monday, right? Well, I don't know. You got that orange shirt on, got Tennessee on, I don't understand it. Well, you know I got an Alabama. Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. You know I got an Alabama shirt, too. You got a little bit of everything. A little bit. <laughs> How y'all doing tonight? Guess who this is tonight, y'all? Crazy number one. Crazy, and crazy number two. Wait, there you I'm go. Two. We're glad to have you. Now, we're, we're here to have fun tonight. Yeah, we're here to have some fun. In the Lord. Everybody, knows, yeah, in the Lord. You know, if you've been shut in and don't know what to do, like that song says, trust in Jesus, he'll lead you through. I wrote that one. Now, you might not like it, but I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only thing matters is then it's God likes it, don't he? Tell yeah. him you've had fun all day long. Yeah, we've had fun all day long. Guess what yeah. we've been doing? Tell them what we've been doing. Look at, look at them. Hey, we went fishing. Yeah, we went fishing. Yeah, man. Now, we caught five fish. Now, y'all won't believe this. Y'all, that thing's a fish story. Yeah. We caught five fish. Three got away. He caught one that long. Now, it ain't that long. I, ain't I got pictures to prove yeah. it? It's that long. That fish. We had fun. Yeah, we had fun. Now, y'all now who caught that one? Uh, Hint crazy number two. I think his grandson went out there. No, see that I told that. they wouldn't believe us. See that when I told <laughs> yeah. you they, we're getting out too, you know. Now we wasn't out running around. Look at lean over his way, wasn't it? Look at his foot. Look at turn the other way. No, turn the other way. Look at see now don't take your head off, it's white. But look at all that red on there. I know, put your head back on. <laughs> But well, we welcome y'all tonight, don't we? Yeah, we give them a big welcome. Yeah. And we want them to hit that shower button. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure, sure. Shower, 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 shower. So yeah. everybody been wondering who's crazy number one is and crazy number Here we are. Yep. Live and in person. That's right. You know, for something you want to ask. And guess been, what? What? Uh, our granddaughter, Lexi, was up there, and me and her had peace and quiet all day long. Well, we didn't, we didn't want to come back to fishing, did we? Well, we had some peace and quiet. We didn't want to come back to fishing because Susie Q and Linda is just alike. <laughs> As all we do is hear, hear a loud mouth from both of them, and, man, they, 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 they blow the trumpet. Hey, you better watch what you say. She's listening. Oh, is she? Oh, well, I can say it now. Now, I'm not here when I get home. I say what I want to do right well, now. Well, don't, we, don't, we don't care, do we, Dennis? We, we ain't going to fish But share again. it, and if you love to laugh, y'all know me. I love to laugh. Now, there are some people out there that likes me, and some people that don't. Well, Dennis, Dennis caught some food, pretty good catfish, too. And he'd get them right up to the... And it breaks a lot. It's like a ramp he's got built out there. Yeah. And, 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 and it was on the ramp. And when Dennis uh, uh, went to get the fish up, he was trying to pick it up with the cord, and it, <laughs> it was now <laughs> right back in the water. I, I looked around before that, and I said, man, where, where's the fish net? Where's fish? <laughs> we had a fish net to get his in, but when it was time to get mine in, we couldn't find the fish <laughs> back <laughs> there. <net. laughs> Go ahead and play a song. Yeah, let's play it. Susie Q was with me. It was peaceful today. <laughs> you mean we got, well, you mean we can't have no fun because Susie Q watched it too. And let me sit right here before you slap them off. You know what, what Susie Q's name? You know what I call her now? What? What? General. Remember I told you that I call her General. Sometimes we won't, both of us won't <laughs> say, oh Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Play a song. <laughs> Let's go before we get the dog out. Here we go. We <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Yeah. I can see their family gather, their sweet faces, all for me. This is Georgia. No one, old or feeble, anymore. Now I'm alone, so hard is crying. I'll just spread my wings for flying. Lord, I've never been here. Can they see you or not? Yeah, they see me good, you see. Oh, is that the way you live? Yeah. Look at her half of you. And are. we're glad to be here tonight. Are we? And we are a faith broadcast sponsored by you, the listener. Yeah. And we do play. I'm not saying this bravely. I'm not saying it boastfully. We do play the best Southern gospel music around. You say, how do you know that, Alan? Because you play any better. Facebook and Mewtwo. So how can anybody else play any better music than what we got in the <laughs> They mute you a lot, don't they? Huh? Yeah, they hit me a lot. They, they like you. Yeah, they like me. That's they hit me so much, you know. But it lets me know that I do something for God around here. I don't, I don't play around. Right. But anyway, we are a faith broadcast, and we appreciate those that do donate to our program to help keep us on. And uh, we appreciate all the help. But when you go buy a new computer, that's five, six hundred dollars or more. Now, now all we need is Randy Barnes joining. We'll have a second generation now. Right. Is Randy Lord. Barnes on there? No, but Brendan Elaine is. Brendan Elaine, is. yeah. Tell mm -hmm. them to call the other one. Can't, can't them two, can't them two women uh, get that? <laughs> watch it, watch can't it. Can't that two women get that man to live? I thought we women was boss. And Brenda and Disney and her sister Elaine is, uh, are they him pet? Oh, she's having a Dr. Pepper in your honor. Ooh. Oh. And, there you, and there you have got a Diet Coke. Wait a minute, say, ah. Hey. Ah. Brenda, Disney, Elaine, you have a Dr. Pepper in my honor. Ooh, I got some in here too. Watch it, watch it now. But hey, whoop, whoop, I like to mess yeah, stuff. I got a whole board. That thing up. I like to don't mess. Don't push no buttons. I like to. <laughs> well, you know, I, it, it's it's learned catching around here. Randy Barnes did it when he was over here. What did he do? He hit the tablet, closed it up, and back out. <laughs> I almost did it right there, didn't I? Well, that's why you're crazy number two. You know, his name is Coker. Watch I, but I just can't understand. Coca-Cola is named after this guy. The Coca-Cola Company. Well, you spell my name C-O-K-E. Put the R on C O, but you got that C-O-K-E. Yeah. R. And and they got the Coca-Cola. Yeah. But it's named after him. But folks, I don't understand. Well, what? I don't understand why Coca-Cola <laughs> gives some promotional money to this program. <laughs> I just can't understand. Here we got the guy sitting here, Coker, that Coca-Cola came from, his name and his family, and I just can't understand why that Coca-Cola ain't made a, 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 a donation to keep this program we on. We might need to have to call them. Huh? We might have to call them. Yeah, I, mean, I guess we need to get called. 
I think the car, I think Coker needs to get on. You know what I like to say what? when people call me on the phone and says, Coker, they, I've been called Cocker and Cooker. Well, that Cocker, you mean Cooker's in yeah. their mouth. And I say Coker, C O K E, and put an R on it. What do you think? I thought that's what he spelled it. Well, a lot of people says, how you spell it? I said, yeah, see, it's spelled Coke. No, we got to do it, put an R on it. That's what I tell them. Yeah. That would look good on that Coke, wouldn't it? I can't say I'm that. I'm tell Coke put an R on that. The only thing I can say about Dr. Pepper, you drink a Dr. Pepper, and you don't have to go to the doctor. That's what that's what General says. You know what she says? She's yeah. gonna get sick because she goes to bed with a doctor and gets up with a doctor. Well, Brenda wants to know uh, what are you doing uh, drinking a diet coke? Didn't she teach you any better? Do what now? <laughs> <laughs> Brenda wants to know what are you doing drinking a diet coke? Didn't she teach you any better? Why are you drinking a diet coke for? Didn't she Instead teach of you a any Dr. better? Pepper. Yeah, she taught me good. I don't drink them. I don't she, drink Coke. I drink Dr. Pepper. Well, that's what she's saying. What are you doing with the Coke? Well, I brought the Coke in here to let the people know that Coca-Cola needs to make a donation since you're named Coke. We need to play another song. <laughs> you what? I guess we met before we messed up here, right? We've already messed up. Hey, hey, folks, folks, you know what? You know what, folks? They, they, Jerry, Jerry Clares didn't have much experience compared to this Wait guy. a minute. Who did what? you just say? Jerry Clares? Ah! <laughs> she didn't appear among us. One of them got to have somebody leave. Yeah. You know what you're talking about? Yeah, well, okay. yeah. I just said it was Dr. Jerry Clares. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Land better. Yeah, Land better. You better play a song. Yeah, we better play a song. Hey, we got a song coming up. This Do you got a song you want to hear? Uh, yeah, request it on comment, and we'll tell you if, if Facebook is muted or not. <laughs> and, and here we go. What you call us again? If you got a favorite one you want us to play, play it, and we'll let you know. Our pastor wrote this song called The Blood. <laughs>
about that precious blood. Sing about that precious blood that washed away our sins. Since she, since, really? it, since she likes Dr. Pepper so bad, you can see the name of her. Wow. And, and since, Is since, she soloing now? Yeah, she's soloing now. She's hey, a, Brenda, are you soloing now? Somebody asked me the other day, they said, do you solo? I said, well, I sing so low people can't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> I know that ain't her, but Brenda, I'm glad you're doing good. I hear about you a lot of times. Let me do something, though. Share. Yeah, we sir. need to share. I want to do this tonight. I want to challenge y'all because everybody's on Facebook now because they're closed in for fear, really. But everybody comes on here at 8 o'clock. I've got friends that does things at 8 o'clock. Brother Allen does it at 8 o'clock. Share this. We want more friends tonight. Share this. And he have more viewers than he's ever had before. That can happen. It can happen. It can happen. Share it then. Let's show a uh, crazy number two. Y'all call him Alan. And we talked a lot today. He found out a lot about me. And we talk about our wives. And they're just alive. That's and, the reason uh, my ears were burning. Uh, well, whatever. But uh, uh, let's share it. Everybody share it, please. I'm asking you. My hat, this, it's a veteran hat. See it? I want you to see it. Tell them about your veteran experience. Well, I'm a Vietnam veteran, and uh, I'm, I'm, proud, I'm proud of my country. Uh, I've been Vietnam 71 and a door gunner, and uh, we wouldn't welcome home. Rocks flowed at us, spit on, talked about. But Jesus said, and it's what got me through this, when all the people said, we don't want you here no more, Jesus put his arms around me and said, you're not home yet. Amen. You're not home yet. Amen. <laughs> My home's waiting for me up yonder. But if you know veterans, key them in because we can relate to each other. But share, share, comments. Come on, please comment. Everybody, comment. You like it? Tell us. If you don't, tell us. And we, we went fishing to a dis disabled veteran too today. Yeah, we did. Their grandson is a disabled veteran. Uh, Afghanistan, Iraq, I don't know which one that was. It was uh, Afghanistan. Yeah, Afghanistan. But uh, share, please. And we having fun. And, and I told uh, Alan tonight, I said, well, I can't be real, real serious all the time. Y'all know me. I, I believe in laughter. Laugh, laugh. Have fun in the Lord. Be happy. Be happy. So share, comment. I want to see everything. If you don't like us, say, I don't like you. We can handle it. We've been told that before. <laughs> We've been told worse or two. <laughs> but we're going to tell you the word. You can't argue with the word. You might not like what we say, but the word's the word. The Amen. word's the word. Amen. And but share. Share. And they okay. can't take it out either. But let's see what one we saw up there. De Brenda Denny, right? Brenda Denny. And she's watching. Get your Dr. Pepper, Brenda. Start ranking. My wife is a Dr. Pepper lady. I said she goes bit not with Dr. Pepper. Yes, up with a Dr. Well, Pepper. Boy, hey, really, when it boils down to it, I'm older than Brenda. Well, yeah, I'm older than Brenda, and I'm older than Susie Q. Mm. Your wife. Well, you're older than I. <laughs> that proves that I'm a good teacher. I got these girls drinking Dr. Pepper. You got them doing it, or she got you doing it? Well, they they take credit that I do it. Who's the oldest? I was drinking for Brenda. I really Brenda the oldest. <laughs> no, you both say yeah. I see. Is Linda the oldest? No, I am. Well, you're supposed to agree with me, Craig, number yeah, two. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's pray, Brenda. Brenda, listen to you. If you like it, comment and say something good or bad. But, but we appreciate you. Let's yeah, pray, we, Brenda. We appreciate Brenda. Brenda's like a sister. She cuts up too, don't she? Well, she's more than a sister. She's like a daughter to us. Don't she cut up to have fun? Don't yeah, she likes to have fun. Ain't nobody like, hey, you can't talk her, Dennis Harley. Man, she, she's a cracker jack and a half. <laughs> Man, she, she gets you so hey, you said cracker jacks. I've been with them. You may be down. I feel like God has somehow forgotten. is 
so much for joining us tonight on this program. We are thrilled and honored that you are here listening with us. And we just want to encourage you tonight to message in your prayer request. Let us know what you have need of. We would love to pray and agree with you that great things are going to happen. And we just want to thank you so much for supporting Alan Presley Promotions and WOTG Radio. 
Here's Brenda Denley one more time. Looking for the love. God's people were in bondage. He said, let my people know. When I get through with Pharaoh, it'll be time for them to go. Put the light up on the doorpost and wait for morning light. They didn't die from imperfections. Without blood, they died that night. He's not looking for perfection. It's the blood he's looking for. No difference between life and death is the blood upon the door. When Satan comes to steal and kill it, Yeah. 
This next group that coming up to sing, he lives about two or three miles from me. Is that good or bad? I, that's good. He, he, he helps good. me and Linda a lot. Well, you need a lot of help, though. Yeah. And yeah. you know that thing that we played, Advertising Square Parson? Yeah. That guy made that for us. Did he? Yeah. And, and he did a real good job. Square Parson really liked that. Did he? Yeah, that's he, good. And... Uh, also, uh, uh, he, uh, this guy, Terry Farrell, he sings with Four Him Trio. He's helped me and Linda a whole lot. Been over here at our house a couple times, and he had the trio over here live one time. And he said he's coming back before long. But let me, let me say this. You see all them posters being made on Facebook? We had one of Dennis Coker and him, him at the pen. Wasn't that pretty? Yeah, and, that, mm -hmm. that, that, that. and and Dennis, you play a piano too. I do? Yeah. Mm. He plays piano. I, I get behind it. I watch him sometime in his church. Watch it now, don't you get out of hand here. Well, you get out of hand. <laughs> I said, I told his church they ought to build him. Man, he played like old Howard Goodman, you know, and gets you all wound up on the piano. It's, I said, that piano's going to clout. <laughs> you said that. And, and I, even, I even messaged on the church program. I said, church, I would I would send a bill to Dennis Coker for a new piano. I used to like you, but now I don't know. <laughs> We need to play his song. I bet your pastor likes me. I bet he likes me. <laughs> play his song. Do what? Play his song. Play, play a song. Who we got coming up? You said for him trio. You been saying yeah for him trio. trio. And we but we do we appreciate that's Terry why you're crazy number two. You know he come over here. He crazy. I'm crazy number two. I'm you crazy number one. You gonna be me? <laughs> but anyway, he come over here and let about know it how. He showed just a few things. Now Linda's making all these posters. We've had several people making posters for us to put out there. Brenda, they, they even helped us make a few before. You know, I, I, you know, she'd be coming on my program. And I said, I need somebody to make a poster. She'd make me one. Who is? Brenda. Did it? Yeah. Well, since you said that, I'm going to say this. What? I think Brenda does a better advertisement than your buddy. <laughs> then who? Brenda does the best advertisement. A while ago when Brenda was talking, yeah. she does a better advertisement than your buddy does. Well, I'm going to tell you something else about Brenda. No, is it good? 
Yeah, that's good. I'm going to tell you something else about it. She really liked that Dr. Telford. And I'm serious. You would see some of the commercials she put on Facebook about Dr. Pepper. Hmm. Dr. Pepper is a pretty cheap company when they don't pay her for her commercial work. She needs to get mad. Yeah, she did get mad. <laughs> not, not that me and you, though. Because we'd be in the doghouse for sure. We already got enough people mad at us. <laughs>
friends, this is Terry with the Southern Gospel Trio for Him, right here in the foothills of East Tennessee. And you're listening to the very best of Southern Gospel music right here on WOTG Radio Network with our friends Alan and Linda Presley and Alan Presley Promotions. You can also see Alan and Linda live every evening from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. on Facebook under Alan Presley Promotions. Our new single, Strange Love, is played right here on WOTG, and we pray that it's been a blessing to you. If you'd like to have for him to come to your church or special function, we would love to hear from you. Just contact us through our, our Facebook page is For Him Trio, or you can find us on the internet at www.forhimmusic.com. And that's F O R H I M. Or you can also contact our office at area code 865 235 triple zero eight once again you're listening to the very best of southern gospel music right here with our dear friends alan and linda presley and wotg radio Well, he's going. He he, I, he 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 said he's fixing to make us a new one. Well, you know. Okay. And and and, and okay. But uh, don't put right now. One, I hear all the time. But I am now. Yeah. But who, you know what we're what? La- you know what we're lacking? What? Sense. Not <laughs> common sense. I mean, good sense. That's what I mean. You lack it. Share that button. I see everybody's commenting. Share it, please. Do y'all need some sense? Well, never mind. She probably banged a, a nickel or a penny to us. No, a sin is a penny. I'll go in there. See, she'll get a penny. I told you. Oh, what? Uh, because uh, we ain't got no sins. I don't know. <laughs> but if she gets a penny, we. Never mind. Crazy number two. Just listen. You know, we, me and you ain't nothing but nuts. Who said that? That's what me and you are. Okay. And we consider it as being nothing you but nuts. You know what my daughter says about nuts? What? They're cracked. <laughs> Yeah, and then we, we're nuts and we crack. But I'm glad for one thing, we're screwed on the right boat. Amen. Uh, we, got, we got a request. Right now, don't sound like it. Uh, Linda, you can just sit over and I'll operate you. Hey, did you say we, we got a request to do here, don't we, a song? Yeah. Well, again, if they don't request a song, we're here for y'all, right? And this, this guy wrote a song called Mountain, too. We're not there yet, though. No, we're not there yet. No, we ain't there yet. Just hold on to the mountain story. I don't want anybody to move the mountain. I just want God to give me grace to climb over the mountain. Amen. Oh. But, but uh, if you want to... I want to go down to the river to do some fishing. See, Linda, 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 and she told them what the four, their woods, and whatever that means, their woods, or can the woods. But if you want a song, this is for y'all. Request a song. Now, we'll play it if we can't, right? Yeah, if we can't, we won't. But if, <laughs> that may see it, right? Huh? That may pretty good see it. <laughs> yeah. you, we, we we'll play it. it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we'll play it. We'll, well, what I'm saying. What? What's wrong with your face? Look at it. Look, he burned. I, yeah, I know, but somebody He's, said you look bad. Well, that's sunburn. Look, look. Fishing sunburn. Look at him. Look at the bald head. Didn't look like his. That, he looks better like. Look at <laughs> We was out there all day. We that's want, sunburn. Who hey, said he looked bad? We, we, even fought about, we even fought about calling back. And having Linda do the program. Yeah, didn't we? Phyllis said you look bad. Who? Phyllis? Who? She, she Phyllis. Asked, Phyllis Jenkins. She asked, "What's wrong with your face?" And then she says, "You look bad." <laughs> you know what? You know what's wrong with my face? Linda got Linda ring my jaws out. Ooh, daddy. 
But if you got, I see, I see hearts coming up. Uh, if you want a song, request it on comments. Leonard's right here looking at it. We'll play it if we can, but we're going to let you know Facebook don't like Brother Allen. And then, well, mainly phrase number two. Every time you play some songs by somebody, they mute them, right? They do, they do. So if it's request a song, if we can do it, we'll do it. But if Alan says they're going to mute it, we won't do it, right? Right. <laughs> so, anyway, I just want to say share it, make comments, send up hearts. If you're enjoying a program, Crazy One and Two, you enjoy laughing with us. I got some people watching that just, they said when they look at me, they start laughing. I don't know what they mean by that. Mm -hmm. Do you? Hey, hey, uh, tell me. What? Tell me if, if I'm wrong. You're wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey. Don't, the Bible tells us going to all the world. That's what it says. Every city, every town. Every word. And you know, the devil's a rolling line. Amen. He don't like what we do. He don't like what anybody does for the gospel. Amen. The devil gives us an upset. But there's victory. In Jesus. In Jesus. Amen. Our victory in Jesus. That's a good song out of a church hymn. Page 120. 20? 120. But as what I'm saying, how do you defeat the devil through God? Amen. How do you defeat the devil that causes the interruption through Facebook? Right. You get enough showers, they can't stop it. That's what we're talking about. And, you, it. and, and if you get like everybody showers this program, keep increasing it every night, the people increasing, in less than three months, you'd have thousands and thousands oh, you of it. people. And that's Bible. Mm -hmm. You say, how do you get Bible out of sharing a program? Because it's going everywhere. God said go into all the world and preach the gospel mm -hmm. to the every creature. Mm -hmm. And then that meant the yellow, black, and white, the all are praises in the sight of God. Right. So we're going to listen to this Roger. Now we had a request to do this song. Yeah. Now, who's it for then? Roger Lindman. Roger Lindman. Here. He, he, listen to him. Go down to the river. If you got songs for us to play, comment, comment. Okay, here we go. Roger. Lim. Here we go. Let's go down to the river. Ain't that thing much? Play it. Here we go. <laughs> Yeah. 
something about God bless us two years ago 2018 uh, to start a little label called Heart Soul Nashville Music Group yeah we've been at it two years God is blessing us God has added an artist we're a ministry mind and I won't say that again ministry minded label if you got a ministry you're welcome but if you just have for show or just to sing and just to go out Heart Soul National Media Group is not for you. We're ministry minded. And also, you be proud of this. We just do gospel. Hey. Wow. Yeah. You proud of that? I'm proud of it. Are you? Gospel is the only music out there. You say you play a lot of country songs like Johnny Cash and all of them. Them guys didn't live for God. You got groups that do that. Yeah, groups that's doing that. Singing, everything. And the Bible said you can't straddle the fence. Yeah, you like a rip a lot of you stuff. You hard, you hard a cold. Yeah, if you're lukewarm. I out of your mouth. We're we, gospel. We don't play country. We don't do country. We don't do hard rock. We're gospel only. That's gospel only. But it's heartsonnationalmusicgroup dot Look yeah, it up. And you can't, you can't win soul playing rock music no. because when you sing rock music and all this boogie woogie stuff. You pat the devil on the back. That's what you do. And you shake them hands with the devil. In fact, you give him old kiss. But if you're an artist, you'll be doing gospel and have a ministry. What I mean by that, still want the soul saved, people blessed, Amen. people healed, and people delivered. That's what we're about. Y'all know groups good as I do if you're out there. Uh, Bren Brenda knows what I'm talking about. There's groups out there that for other things besides soul being saved, Bless, heal, and delivered. But Heart Soul National Music Group, look us up dot org. We're working on Facebook. It's going to be up. We're on Instagram. We're on Twitter. We're on YouTube. Go look us up. This artist is coming here. He's not but twenty seven years old. He's from Saltville, Virginia. He's evangelist. Now when he preaches, he he like me and Adam. We hammer down. We just going to tell yeah, you. Yeah, and, and he and he hammers it down. And a lot of churches is closed up because they chicken livers. Well, what's Ray doing? <laughs> you know what? Well, Ray preaching. He's going outside that church and, and standing in parking lots preaching, and ever even on the street corners. Mm -hmm. He's out in a part of a field every day preaching. There you go. And, and we got we got to go. But we're proud of this artist, Saltville, Virginia. Look him up, Ray Wolford Ministries. And you know what, Dennis? What? God's a big God. And the virus is nothing in a, just a drop in a bucket. Amen. God can win it. And but God anytime God. you go, I'll say this humbly. If you're listening, well, we already made people mad at us, ain't we? Well, uh, hey, if they, hey, one thing to add. What? If they get mad at us, they got to love us. Amen. If they don't love us, they keep making it to but the But there's a lot of labels that will take your money, tell you pretty things, tickle your ears. Our song after me to do not for that. We're to lift the artists up and get their music out there for Jesus. But look us up, Parcel National Music Group under Instagram, uh, Twitter.org, Parcel National Music.org. See what we do. And 
I know what I'm a disabled veteran, so we don't do this for a living. We do this to lift up Jesus and the artists. So uh, look at our prices. I know what the rest of them charge is, being with the major labels. They're gouging the groups. They're breaking them. They're charging a lot of money. We're about giving ours away, but we got good quality. Our producer won't do nothing but gospel. He'll tell you that. And I love that. Our producer, a recording studio, says, Amen. We're a gospel recording gospel only. Amen. Nothing else. That's our way to promote this, the gospel. Amen. But listen, Brother Ray Wolford, this song's called Homecoming Day, ain't it? Or you got another one? No. Called Homecoming Day. You listen to this song. 27 years I'm bound out of London, Kentucky. Well, I mean, I Kentucky. The lightning I see. Could that be him coming? The sound of the thunder. Could that be the call? Dawson, where our line, if y'all remember back 10, 15 years ago, 20, Ernie was in good health out there singing. But uh, things are, do you, do, you, do you have any idea what might be wrong with Ernie? Well, they wanted to do a heart transplant. Wow. They can't do that. Yeah. And 
And now we went to Trying to Hip and we put we put posters up and we're putting prior posters up now. They wanted to do a kidney. Uh, well, they talk about doing a kidney transplant. He can't do that. He he he, he he's not able to go no. through all that. Yeah. The heart surgery, he's not. The kidney problem, he's not. And the only thing we know to do is turn it over to God, and God oh, can heal. What's Ernie's last name again? Ernie Dawson. If you're out there and you remember Airline, they're still singing. But Ernie Dawson started Airline. So if you remember, I'll see some hearts out there. If you remember Airline, we might play us. Do y'all have some by Airline? We, we play some of his songs. Okay. But Airline has been around a long time, and Ernie started it. But now, what about a prayer request you got there? We, 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 we'll get that in a little bit, but uh, uh, we get these prayer requests in. And Tom Moore, down in Jacksonville, Florida, right. they, he got cancer in the kidney, and a doctor told him that kidney has to come out. And he, they found a trace of it in his lungs. Cancer. He, uh, yeah, he's twice a cancer. He's had a, a battle. He listens to a program quite a bit. Yeah. And when he's able, he's on here. And he calls me quite often. He wants us to remember him in prayer. Mm -hmm. And we do that. Remember his wife, too, because she tries to help all she can. Remember her in prayer. There's Patricia Moss. She still mm -hmm. needs her prayers. And Linda, you know anybody else right off? Uh, Louise, his girls. Uh, you know, they can't have a funeral. But they're going to have a memorial later. And uh, that's my cousin. And Patricia Miles. Mm. And uh, there's a whole lot of them, but we can't remember all of them. Brother Dennis, would you lead us in prayer? One thing I want to say when she's talking about funerals. And folks, you take for what it were. If you read the Bible, study the Bible. The Bible says study is so you shall approve. What that means, you study the Bible. You'll know what's going on today. That's right. God said there'd be pestilence, earthquakes in uh, different diver places. And over in Africa somewhere, they said locusts and all that's over there. Folks, God's trying to tell the United States of America and I'm a veteran and I'm proud of it. This virus right now everybody's living in fear. Not making less people die. I, I hope they're ready to go. But please don't live in fear. Amen. Like funerals. You can't have funerals no more now. Well I'm sorry. Yes you can maybe 10 or less. But folks, these people with mama's dying, daddy's dying, sometimes you can't even go see them in a the hospital. We gotta pray, put God, put God first. God will take care of all this other stuff. But the virus, I'm not saying it, it might, it's killing people. But get out of fear, churches. Start churching. Get back to where you was. Fellowship. The Bible says, do not fail to send yourself together. Hey, Dennis. Yes. How many times has your church called off all this virus? Zero. We've You've had, had church, church every time. Inside church, every time. Every time. We're a small country church. But you're right. We ain't called service off. And God's looked over us. And God's blessing it, And too. God's blessing. Everybody's good. So if you're living in fear, the Bible says, and there's no saying, there's nothing to fear but fear itself. God's not the author of fear. That's right. So come out. Let's show God that we love him. So that's all I got. Let's remember and the United States. His mom, she fell yesterday and had to have two clamps in the back of her head. And uh, when after the after she got back home from the hospital, she was confused. And your mom was how old? She's 96, be 97 in September. And we went and seen her two, a year or two ago, roughly. Yeah. Played the piano. 
looking over and see him smiling. And I like to go see her again before long. Don't know more how much longer she's going to be here, that's Brother Allen's mama. But you know what? If she does go on, I can see her going to my mom and daddy. The Bible said it would be known as we're known to the Spirit. Amen. And I can see her going there to my mom and daddy, and I'm just looking at his old country boy away. And Allen's mom walks up to my mama. And she tells her that crazy number one, crazy number two. Ain't got no sense. <laughs> Amen. That's the way I look at it. But let's pray for his mama. 97 or so. Okay, go ahead, Dennis. Father, we come to you, God. We thank you one more time we're, we're, that we're able to sit here and bow our heads. Because, God, we could be laying in a nursing home. We could be laying in the mercy room. We could be this and that. But through all the aches and pains we have, there's victory. In Jesus. These requests that he mentioned, we might not know them personally, but God, you go where they are right now. Your hand can reach all over the world. But these, these you right now, like Sister Brenda said, he'll do it again. Amen. He's never let us down. He's always lifted us up. God, his prayer request, the fear that people have got, God, we bound that spirit of fear. Let them know that God is going to help them if they put him first. God bless this, uh, what we're here now, the fishing trip me and Brother Adam had. God, some people ain't able to go fishing. But God, we was able to go. Amen. Well, we might not be here tomorrow to do it again. But be with us. In Jesus' sweet name we pray. Amen. 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 I believe Linda got set up a uh, song request coming. Yes, in. she's got something. And I say, if you got a song request, put it on comment. And, yeah. and now we joke around about Facebook uh, muting. They do mute songs, don't they? Yeah, they do. All the time. Copyright stuff, they all the time. If you got a song you want to hear, comment. You're part of this. Come on in our family. Amen. But listen to a song that's got requests by, what's her name? Tammy Jones Robinette. Tammy Jones Robinette. Robinette. I've got so much to thank him for. If you've got a lot to thank him for, when his song starts, start putting them hearts up and hands up. Thumbs up. Letting us know that you've got a lot to praise God for. Play it, Linda. Listen. <laughs>
to do thank him for. Hey man, we got we, we never would thank him. We wouldn't get him thank we owe us. We, uh, we, 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 we owe him so much. No matter what you do, but we're supposed to be doing like you say. Let's go out and get them. The Bible says go out in highways and hedges and do what? Compel them. Compel if, them to if come If you look in. what that means, I know we don't do it. It means drag them in. Amen. That's what compel means, but praise the Lord. Amen. And what's this next song coming up, Dan? Well, anybody, this is a request. Anybody heard of Michael Combs out there? A good man. He had a, a what did he have? A kidney transplant? Or I don't something? remember what really He had happened. one. He had something. But he was been pretty good. I think it was a kidney. He was doing pretty, pretty good. Yeah. But he got a song here by request that y'all got to hear this one, but we're waiting on Linda to come back in here for a reason. She must have left and took a place. Well, we did go fishing. We left out nine this morning. We went down to the other lake, and beautiful lake, and had rock and cheer. Or, no, rock and cheer, yeah, it was. Yeah, we didn't rock and cheer. We rock and cheer sitting right there. Just the line out and holding it. And but every once in a while, I looked over and had a, and a, a crazy man pig doing this. Find it one. And I and I didn't know what that means, but this next but song and uh, 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 brother Adam, bring that on around. If anybody know what this is, let me see what that is right here. Well, we took this with us today. If anybody know what this is, I hold it all up. There it is. Anybody know what that is? <laughs> see that? Alan used that thing right there. That's an opening reel. And there was why when I see him doing it, it wouldn't go out. <laughs> he didn't have his finger done. Well, you know why I done it? Because the line was wrapped around. Well, well, I was, well, that's why they call you crazy number two. Yeah. Now, I use a close end, but that's an open end. If you don't know how to use an open end, you're in trouble. That thing right there, if you don't do this right, that thing right there, what? Wire go everywhere. Yeah. I'll hit you in the head with that thing. But this next song's got something to do with this. It's a request. Yeah, and here's something else, Dan. What? Uh, everybody out there can join in and do the same thing. They can? Well, uh, but they, they, when we go fishing, that's when people hit the shower button on Facebook, that's going to fish. There you go. And you know what Jesus said? What? Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. There you go. And they said, follow him. And I'll be, he'll make us fishers of men. Just like today, uh, Brother Adam caught the biggest fish on one that we we kept because we threw her back, and we and yeah, that's right. You throw this out and catch a fish and bring him in. That's what we're supposed to do as Christians. We're throwing out the line, not not throwing out the line to a fish to people. Yeah, and bring them in. Then they tell us going to all the world, and that sharing goes everywhere. Yeah, and sharing is getting the reach of man. That's what you know. Oh. That, that's biblical. That's biblical. That's biblical. That's Bible. It's to share the gospel. And when you share the gospel, that's getting more people in and getting more people to join in and help get the gospel out. It. Huh? I hold your rod. Right. Yeah, you hold it there. Yeah, I'm going to break it because you caught the biggest fish. <laughs> but we got some of a request for, for this song, right? Yeah. Michael Combs. It's called Going Fishing. Here we go. This is a request. You want a request? Call me and tell us. We'll play it. Here we go. Y'all ready for this? Let's go.
Bless your heart. Now, some of you might not be old enough to remember this song, but you remember this song? You're how old? Crazy number two? I'll be 75 in July. How far back can you remember that 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 song? What's the name of that song? In the Garden. Oh, it's been around longer than I have. And this song has touched a lot of people. The, the young lady doing it, Stephanie Levins. I go to the garden. Alone. And 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 let's tell a little bit about her. She's gonna be our guest on our program. Go ahead. And she's going to share her testimony Thursday night. And believe me, brother, you don't want to miss her testimony. And 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 she she will shake you. And we played one of her songs as a prayer. Bless Beasley up the Florida boys helped her with that. And she's going to be on her program this Thursday night, and she's going to share that testimony. Plus, we're going to hear some songs. We just believe in letting go and let God. Linda, what's wrong with this young lady? Yeah. She's 43 years old, I think. She's got MD. Is she in a wheelchair? Yeah. And she she's was born. born this way. And she's in a wheelchair. She's yeah. in a wheelchair. And you know what gets me now? Artists. You got talent that God told you to use. This young lady's in a wheelchair, and wherever she goes, she's not going to wheelchair, but she's using her talent. Amen for the Lord. Not other music, not other junk, but for, for the Lord. Lord. And and I've talked with her. I've talked with her mom, and 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 she just like a Christmas tree that's lit up right now. And she'll be on your show when Thursday night. Don't miss it. And, and we're going to listen to her right now. And there'll be posters out about it being on. She probably got a great testimony. We done got one poster on Alan Press's page. But tonight we clear off Vince's page, get rid of his face. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Is that funny? <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> he's crazy number one. All right. Yeah. But, and and we, we got, uh, we, tomorrow night and Thursday night, we're going to be having songs out of the old Red Bank Church Hymn Book. 
and we got a posters out on that now. Then we'll be, sometime tomorrow, you'll be seeing more posters of this young lady. And we're tickled to death to have her. See, I didn't know she existed a few weeks ago. She contacted me and said she'd been trying to get a hold of us for a long time. And it sounds like she loves to have fun, too. Yes, she does. Amen. And she's on her tonight. It's going to go out to her. Okay, let's Is listen. she on? No. Okay. She ain't on right now. But this is uh, Stephanie Leva. Leaving? Leaving. In the garden. If you love it and God bless you, we'll see the heart and, and the stones. Play it, Linda. <laughs> song is her doing the cripple prior and it's about herself yes and uh les beasley that was with the florida boys he helped her in this he uh, does the recitation he does the recitation part les beasley and this song touches your heart she touches my life and she touched me like never before when i talked to her on the phone and folks, we got a picture, a poster on Alan Presley's page. We'll be sharing it more 
sometime tomorrow. And she, she just thought, but we'll listen to that again. And I don't know who we got coming up now. Well, is it the one on the left, Linda? Yeah. This song, if you listen to it, it's been around a while. And uh, when I say Vietnam, God bought me home from Vietnam. And I've got a daughter. She'll be 40-something. Uh, let's see, 48 years old in December. And when I got home from Vietnam, my daughter was blind. Was blind. Doctor said she'd never see again. But I knew somebody I could take her to. Amen. When the doctor says that I, I can't do nothing, that's when Jesus kicks in. He says I can. You know, you know, uh, Ernie Dawson is about that shape. Yeah. And the only thing left, God could kick that's in. Right. But she was blind, and we we took her to the altar. And I believe in healing, brother. Amen. I do too. And I believe in the Lord. It ain't the oil's prayer of faith that does it. And I said, Lord, I believe this was 18 back in 71. I was 18. I said, God, I've lived 18 years. My, my little daughter ain't lived six months. I like for her to see. You know why? Because I've said it from here. We do a lot of lip service, right, crazy number two? Right. Well, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about Christian. We are Christian. And then go out and do whatever you want to do. It don't work that way, folks. In my right. mind. That's right. But when I prayed, I got up and took it back to the doctor. And you know how doctors are. The doctor looked at my daughter. He said, I son told you one time she's blind. I said, I know. But look at her one more time for daddy. I'm sitting in the waiting room waiting on the doctor. And I'm grinning like a possum. A lot of people says, well, what does a possum grin like? But to Alley, 2 o'clock in the morning, you go around that curb and there's something sitting in the middle of the road just going, that's a possum grinning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So that's what we talk about, grinning like a possum. I saw a doctor coming down the hallway doing this. I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I said, doctor, did you find out anything? He said, Mr. Coker? I said, yes, sir. I, I, I knew what God could do. Six weeks ago, your daughter was blind. I couldn't do no transplant, no nothing. She was blind and completely blind. The left eye, thirty percent vision to right. He said, "Mr. Coker, I don't know what happened, but your daughter can see." <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes me happy, right? Hey, Amen. But we're gonna play a song by Doyle Hobson. Consider the lilies. He takes care of the lilies. He takes care of the birds. He takes care of everything. Yeah. And he takes care of me. Amen. Consider the ladies. Let God bless you on this. Amen. <laughs> Splendor than them. 
introduce you to this friend of mine who hangs out the stars tells the sun when to shine and he kisses the flowers in the morning with dew and he's not too busy to care about you we have a heavenly father above with eyes so Come home, come home, it's supper time. 
Appreciate all you people tuning us in. Appreciate Dennis Coker for being here on the program that tonight. That ain't my name. What is it? Dennis, oh, crazy number one. Thank you. And this is Fair crazy enough. number two. <laughs> but we are a faith broadcast, and we appreciate all the people out there that have donated to our program to help us keep it on. And Dennis, it gets very expensive doing a program. Well, what you got right here, I don't know how you keep all this up. And and we got to have a special phone. Wow. We got one, two, three, four monitors. Soundboard. Three sound three computers and a good mic right here. Yeah. And another mic mm -hmm. over here for a backup we needed. Oh wow. And it does take help. And we we appreciate the help and those that have help. Continue to help us that we can keep this program on the internet. Mm -hmm. And also uh, we got YouTube. All these programs go over on YouTube. And go to Alan Presley Promotions on YouTube, type it in. It brings it up, and you, you can see every program there. Everything is there. Never miss them. YouTube is a good group of people. And also, you can donate by sending your offerings and gifts to Alan Presley, 611 Ohio 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Here's that address again, Alan Presley, 611 on Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Man. We have a GoFund set up out there, and you can go that route, too, if you would like. Lady Presley, tell us what the Gospel Hearts are doing, too. If you uh, make a donation of $10 or more, they will send you a CD, wow. a, a DVD, wow. a uh, necklace and earring God. set, and a ring. Man, that, that's enough of that right there. You're talking about thirty or forty dollars worth of stuff right there. Yeah, and for a donation of ten dollars. Wow, they get all of that. And they're doing that to help our program. Wow. Go to go to uh, Lorraine and Hank Hart's Facebook page and you'll find it there. Say that slowly for they get it. Where go to Lo Lorraine and Hank Hart's Facebook page. Uh, he got a Facebook page. I think he's got one. But this is Lorraine and High Card. Alan. His page, huh? The the page, it don't say Lorraine and Hank. It says Hank and Lorraine. Oh, okay. Hank's name is first. Okay. So see, if she, they put Lorraine and Hank, they won't find see, it she that way. Keep you straight, see? Just like yeah. general at the house. Right. right. Mm -hmm. And we pre like I said, we appreciate Dennis being here. We got time for... Lady Preston, you say a few words right fast. Well, we got uh, 15 minutes. 13 minutes left, yeah. so we we better get on the move. Yeah, <laughs> and here we go. Who we got coming you up? You heard. Who we got coming up here? Uh, Dixie, Dixie Belty Boys. Down by the river. Here we go. <laughs>
morning when we see the master stay. We'll keep our eyes upon the sky and run in the rain. Post every Sunday down by that river we gather one by one. Raise our hands and praise the Lord. and where they're from, and we'd like to say we welcome them here. Thank you for watching. Thank you, and God bless. They're not from Tennessee. They're not from Georgia. not from around here. They're from a big country called Italy. Listen, Thank you for watching. The listen to pro and they're welcome. Tell all them people right. in Italy they are welcome. Amen. And we love them. And you know what's coming up next, though? Yeah, we, we played this once, and we're going to play it again. Well, we've done it openly, but now I didn't know the whole story behind this. But we're going to play it, ain't we? Right. This girl's in the wheelchair. Going to be on Brother Allen and Linda's program Thursday night, right? 
Right. Brother call Sheila. in. What time did they call in? About eight, she'll, be, she'll be calling in here at 8.30. 830. And she's going to get just as much time as right. she needs. She's crippled and she's singing this song. And Les Beasley's is doing the uh, interpretation. Uh, interpretation. Backup. Yeah, the backup talking on it. So, won't you listen to the song? We're getting close to going off the air, but I wanted Brother Adam Phil Led to do this song. Thursday night, she's got a testimony. In a wheelchair, has to go over in a wheelchair, but she's out doing God's work. And she found me. She and she Brother said, Adam. I've tried to try to get a hold of you some way. Yeah. And, she's, and she's tickled to death. She said, thank God I found you. She don't need Alan Presley. She don't really need us, Dennis. Right. Because she was booked all year long in 2020. This verse was coming here and churches shut down. Yeah. She was booked. She was so frilled. She so tickled to death. And it made my heart bleed. And this song touches me. This song is about her. It's called Crippled Girl's Prayer. The Crippled Girl's Prayer. Let's take a listen. And her name's Stephanie. 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 Love. What is that? Levens. L-E-A-V-I-N-S. Levens. Sorry for the mistunct of it. It's Stephanie Levens with Crippled Girl's Prayer. She's in a wheelchair, folks. Think about it while she plays. Rejoice with us with hearts and thumbs up. She's been like this all of her life. Let's take a listen. This is about her.
Yeah, yeah, Thursday night. She and she's going to get as much time as she needs to, to tell her story about Jesus. And Brother Dennis, what? we're going to turn it over to you. Well, uh, we ain't got but about well, one more minute, but this song's longer than that. But I got to tell some Brother uh, Crazy Number Two. Anybody knows how he got his name? I'm going to tell you, Crazy Number Two, how he got his name. About two weeks ago, me and him, uh, we went into a, a store and Brother Adam says he had to get some stuff, so he went to the, got what he needed and went up to the counter. He looked at him and he looked at the counter man and said, Hey, I need five pounds. It was a produce place, what it was. He said, I need two pounds of tomatoes and three pounds of potatoes. That guy started laughing at him. <laughs> laughing at him. And Brother Adam said, What are you laughing at? He says, You're in a hardware store. <laughs> That's why he's crazy, number two. But he's crazy, number one. <laughs> this song, though, we're going to leave you with a laughter. I believe in laughter. He's had a hard day, been working. Appreciate everybody. I've seen everything coming up, heart, and we love y'all. Like I say, uh, I appreciate Brother Allen, crazy number two, let me come. We've been fishing all day, reading. And when I get home, the general going to say this. Then why well, he got two horns? See my hair? See how it's sticking it that way and that way? She's going to say, you've been hanging around the devil too long. Well, look at Alan's horn. Well, yeah. He ain't got nothing. What's that right there? Put your hat back on. You look better with it on. I, I got called a devil's horn. We've we been called worse. I preached one night, what would I do if I was a devil? What would I do if I was the devil and I tried to make a picture, paint a picture, what what I would really do if I was the devil? Let's see, that's like that. But anyhow, I've been fishing. He changed shirt. He got the wrong color on. At the But this is this then, Coker. What? I told him that night I would dress up the way you think a devil looks like. Mm -hmm. Horns and pitchfork and all that well, stuff. That's right. God be my helper. This is the truth, Dennis. Tell what I went truth, home Dennis. and went to bed that night and woke up the next morning and that was on my head. And the doctors told me, many doctors told me, don't tamper with it. And I said, well, that's one of the devil's horns. And that, and all my church people got to say, he's trying to grow horns now. That's that horn trying to That really happened right after I preached that message. Well, since you said that, Linda over here probably called you a few things about that one. <laughs> <laughs> but this one we're going to leave with you. I get we're about out of time. Man. Go ahead and say some more for you. Tell them what you think. You're welcome, man. Hey, your hat's on crook. Look at that hat. It's her straight. You look, there it is, right there. Okay. Tell hey. them. Uh -huh. Tell them what you need to tell them, because we're, we're out of time. Hey, folks, please share our program. Share it and share it and share it. That's a command in the Bible. The first go into all the world. That's how you go into all the world. Let's Amen. take a listen to this song. Well, this right here, I like it. Uh, if you like it, give me hearts. And I'm doing it. Give me some hearts and thumbs up. It's called Ticklish Room. Susan Dollar. Where's Caitlin? Get Caitlin out there. This is from our little girl, Caitlin. Here we go. Ticklish Reuben. Yeah. <laughs>
Go to YouTube, type in Alan Presley. I think we got about 68 or 69 subscribers on YouTube. And that's quite a bit. And we appreciate that. Go over there if you ain't never done it. Hit the subscribe button, subscribe to it. The nice program will be on there in about an hour and a half. And folks, we're glad to be here. We're looking forward to tonight, tomorrow night. We're going to start something we ain't never done. We're going to be playing songs. From the old red back church hymn. Wow. And we got a poster out there. We'll probably take two nights on that. Thursday night, Stephanie Levin will be here on the program. And she'll be calling in. She's out of Pensacola, Florida. Right. And we're glad to be here. Please share our program. Share it. Like I said, that's what God wants us to do. He commanded us to do it. He didn't say do it if you feel like it. <laughs> or do it. If he feel good, did he say that? No, I don't read it. He commanded it. Mm -hmm. It was a command from God. And when we willfully sin against God, mm -hmm. willfully, mm -hmm. what did it say to us? It mm -hmm. said there remains no more sacrifice. It's better never put your hand to the plow and look back. Who sang that song? Go praise and pray. Oh, no, Who no. sang that song? Oh, no. He that put his hands to the plow and look back. It's not fit for the for kingdom, kingdom of God. Never got. Who sang that song? I don't know. Who does it? The Blankenships. The Blankenships. What's the use me? You, you smart. <laughs> I thought you knew with that. Uh, I've slept since then. You ain't woke up either. <laughs> <laughs> we better get out of here. Well, let me say, from crazy number one and crazy number two, and she's general yeah. number three. No, I'm... Smart number one. Daddy, you hear that one? <laughs> you ready when you're up your head. We better get out of here. We've been joining. Well, we'll say this, then we'll get out of here. Okay. What? Uh, these other people act our position. They are? Yeah. Don't let them have it. Well, we, we'll get to them, won't we? Well, they're going to have to work hard for it. Yeah, they got to work hard to beat top us out. We're going to get out of here and say good night, and we'll see you tomorrow night. Good Lord will, same station, same time, same place. And may we all take a liking unto that great God who loved us and gave his life for us that we can have life and have it more.